Amid the hustle and bustle of the city, there is a large farm right in the middle of one of Cleveland's neighborhoods in Ohio City, just around the corner from the West Side Market and some of the city's cutting-edge restaurants, sits a six-acre farm. News Channel 5's Ted Cortan takes us there. Meet Motki. He's from the Asian country of Bhutan, and he's saying how much he loves farming here in Cleveland. And here's the farm he's talking about, the Ohio City Farm, a six-acre plot of CMHA property on West 25th Street in the shadow of downtown. we got two or three in each. But as remarkable as this large inner-city farm is, it's the workforce that truly makes it unique. We have uh, refugees from Rwanda, Burundi, we have some Burmese and some Bhutanese. Uh, that are all working together and doing a fantastic job. Definitely eager workers, uh, picking things up really quick. Cabbage and uh, potatoes and onion. Growing crops and growing vegetables. So I know about farm. <laughs> the majority of the resettled refugees were arriving in the States with nothing more than an agricultural skill set. Paul Neuendorfer heads Refugee Response, a nonprofit organization that works to help refugees from around the world. Refugee Response is employing resettled refugees. We're going to educate and empower the community while at the same time contributing to the region's economic development. Now a lot of the produce from the Ohio City Farm will be used right here at the Great Lakes Brewery in their restaurant operation. Much of the rest of it will be for sale this fall across the street at the West Side Market. So welcome to Cleveland, our new refugee friends, and good luck with the farm. There's going to be a lot of really great heirloom organic produce that comes off of here. On your side in Cleveland, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? The folks at the Ohio City Farm do say they can use some more help. They need farming supplies and equipment to continue their efforts. If you're interested in helping or finding out more, log on to newsnet5.com and you'll find a link to the Refugee Response website for more information.